Because Fusion 360 is a cloud-based application, all of your designs are stored under your account in the Autodesk cloud, invisible and not accessible to anyone else other than you. When you are done with designing, open up the data panel, create a new project, pin this project folder to the top, go to File, Save or Save As, for the location, choose the newly created project, give your design a name and save it in this directory. Fusion 360 does not only store one version of your design, but a new one each time you click save. When you take a look at the file, there is an icon in the right hand corner, which tells you that you are currently working on version number one. If you click on this icon, you can see when the design was created who was creating it, if it contains other components, if it is used as a component in another assembly and if any drawings are connected to the design. When you now continue with the adjustments and save the part again by hitting Ctrl S on the keyboard, it gets saved as version number 2. As this happens every time you save a document, you can always roll back to a previous version in case something goes wrong with your design. Simply close the design, hover over a previous version and open it. You cannot override the current design because a newer version exists at the top of the stack, but you can go to File and save this design as a new document. In case you want to override the current design, close the document, hover over a previous version, promote it first so that it gets placed at the top of the stack and then open it again. Now you can continue with your adjustments and then go to file and save it. Fusion also temporarily stores your designs on your local hard drive and if you are a Windows user you can find them under C, Users, your computer name, App Data, Local, Autodesk, Autodesk Fusion 360, followed by a folder with a long account number, w.login and inside this folder are the designs. This is great because it allows you to continue working on your project even if you are in offline mode and as soon as you are online again everything gets synchronized with the cloud. You can also manually add projects to the cache by right clicking on the folder or the file and select add to offline cache. When you go to your account name in the right hand upper corner and open up the preferences you can set how long these cached files stay on your local hard drive. Below this, you can tell Fusion to automatically save a version whenever you close a design and you can also set the recovery time interval and this defines how often Fusion saves a design to your local cache automatically. You can also store a design to the cache manually by hitting Ctrl Shift S instead of Ctrl S and this stores the document locally without adding an additional version to the cloud. To export a part, simply go to File, Export, choose from many different file types and select a location on your local hard drive. Thumbs up if you like the content and subscribe for more tips and tricks if you want to become a pro in Fusion 360.